Green Dot taking your money and not wanting to give it back. And the solution should have been give me back my money. I lost my card, first of all, and I ordered a new one. And um, I ordered a priority mail so I can get it within three days instead of waiting seven to 10 days. Um, I was at work and they said that I had to sign for it beforehand, but I, I totally forgot about it. And um, I got back and I'm like, okay, it said my, like my, my mail came, like the, it came, but I didn't sign for it. If I didn't sign for it, I didn't get it. Where's that? So I, I left it alone for like a couple hours. I'm like, nah, that can't be like the tracking. I even checked the tracking number and it said it was delivered. I didn't sign for anything. I was at work and I have witnesses. How can I sign for something and I'm not, I'm at work. You didn't come to my job. No, you didn't. And so my balance went from five forty nine to a dollar forty seven. So I filed a dispute or whatever, and um, they told me that it was going to be, I think, three to four days, business days, for them to get back to me. But it was like only like two days, and um, they said that um, they that my my um, money would be credited back into my card. I'm like, okay, but I don't have a card. So how's going to be credited to something and I don't have a card? And so I called, kept calling, kept calling, and no one answered, or they would they would answer and then they hang up. And um, I finally got on chat, and um, they told me that, well, you you your new card's coming from the, from the dispute. I said, no, you're lying, because she just told like, <sighs> like um, they're so frustrating because like one person telling you, oh yeah, your card's coming, then uh, no, it's not, no, it's not, because it said it already had came, and then I didn't receive it. And so I tried to order a new one, and they said that my card, my account has been blocked. I'm like, for what? So I can't order a new card? Nope, your account's closed. Why? So you need to tell me I got my stimulus check inside my account that I can't touch because you guys want to do whatever you guys want to do with my account without even my permission. And then um, I called corporate office. Oh, no, wait. Um, I called when I called, I called back the last time and then I got in a hold of some, some, uh, supervisor, male supervisor. And he told me that if I go down to Walgreens or Walmart that I'll, and purchase a um, prepaid, um, green dot card that I, he was going to be able to transfer the money from there, from my account to my prepaid card. I did that. I asked, I asked, um, my neighbor to lend me $20 to go get the card. She, she did that. <sighs> I get back home, I call back, and they can't do it that way. It's impossible. That's a lot. Okay, well, you guys had me go scrape up money I didn't have, I had to borrow, have to pay back now, don't know how, to tell me that you guys can't do it when I, when I, you just told me you could. So um, she, we ended up hanging up, I ended up hanging up with her, and um, I went to, well, I went to sleep, and the next day, um, my roommate was like, you know, you need to call up there and see what's going on. So I called again and they're like, um, a check is going to be mailed out to you, but that's not what the, that's not what the update on the internet says. The internet said that it would be credited to my card, but I don't have a card. My rent is like past due already. And I explained that to them. I even had my, my um, manager from my apartments uh, like contact them. And they said, no, we need your ID and we need your um, utility bills and send that in. And it's going to take two weeks for you to get your check. Why is that? It didn't take two weeks for them to give my card to this to the wrong person and let them take my money. Like I didn't sign for anything. You don't have my signature on anything. And um, I said, well, can you guys just can I make another account and then you guys transfer it to that account? They said, no, we can't do it that way. I said, well, why not? We don't have that authority. So my account's closed. I'm past due on rent. Might lose my apartment. I had just had a baby in August 17, 2020. Are you serious? And they just don't care. They don't care. So is there any particular solution that you're looking for right now? Considering I have, what, almost five-month-old baby, and not only that, um, I'm not in the wrong. Completely not in the wrong. I'm, I'm in trouble because I went to Well, I'm in the wrong because I went to work. No, they are not doing their job. 
they're supposed to have me sign for something and they didn't have me sign for anything. So you're going to have my mail to the wrong, the, to the random person. Are you serious? And now that I'm in a predicament where my rent's past due, might get kicked out. I have to find a babysitter. Well, I have to find a free babysitter because I can't pay for one. Obviously. So it's like, is it, but I really want, I want to get my money transferred to a different card, but like my Wells Fargo's bank account or, um, yeah, that's the only solution I like and close my account at Green Dot for good. I don't, well, I don't, I don't like, do not like their service whatsoever. And they, the way they go about things is very, how do I say? And, and, and what's that? What's it and professional. And they don't even answer their phones most of the time, dude. They hang up on you, or they give you mis mis um misinformation. Well, information that's not true. And then the other person says, "No, you can't do it that way." Then the other person says, "Yeah, you can." It's like, okay, which one is it? You guys don't know the policy. You guys don't know. You guys just work. How'd you guys get the job then? If you guys don't know what's supposed to be going on, and what is and isn't allowed. And why did you decide to go public with this issue? Because everyone needs to know what's going on. That Green Dot is not the company to to, to bank with. They're not, they're not. At first, I was, I was pretty good with them, but no, they're not the company to bank with. 